Every business desires to look good in the eyes of its customers. That explains why many companies pump more money into the branding department to produce a successful product. But it turns out that even after in-depth research and spending huge on a brand concept, some major companies still got it wrong. From Bic's failed feministic brand idea to Coca-Cola's New Year wishes gone wrong, here are the top 10 companies that made horrible branding mistakes. Number 10. Bic. Bic made a horrible branding mistake. Do you know what they did? Yeah, maybe you got it right. They decided to take us to the gender segregation error and started producing pens specifically for female customers. Whoever advised them to segregate their customers based on gender just gave the wrong advice because nobody wants to advance such kind of inequality in a world where people are fighting for equal rights. You know what I mean? And sure enough, these pens branded as Bic for her, which looked like the best thing for ladies, ended up as a total failure. People were quick to spot the extreme feminism and immediately went wild on the internet, accusing Bic of advancing inequality. But the big blow came after Ellen DeGeneres took about four minutes of her popular show criticizing Bic for developing such a brand. The wide reach of the show meant major negative publicity, and Bic had no other choice but to stop production of the pens for females. Number 9. Colgate We all know Colgate for its top-selling dental hygiene-related products. And sure enough, they have perfected the brand so much that Colgate has become a giant company in the dental hygiene line of products. But I don't understand exactly what was happening in the company's branding department back in 1982. In one of the least expected decisions, Colgate introduced Colgate Kitchen Entrees, a line of frozen food products. They thought that their teeth cleaning products were so popular that customers would just find it natural to connect between food and teeth. Sadly, that was not to be the case. The company ended up with a steep decline in its profits after introducing this new failed product. Number 8. Pepsi When you rival a major brand like Coca-Cola, everything you do must just be done right with the right team. But it seems Pepsi thought they were alone in the soft drink market. And so in a quest to attract more customers, Pepsi went ahead to rebrand a few of its product offerings, including its signature logo, Mountain Dew Soda, and Tropicana Orange Juice. But what they did with Tropicana is what cost them the most. Ideally, Tropicana is known for its boxes depicting a straw sticking out from an orange. But in the new rebrand, they included a plain white box with orange liquid across it. Unfortunately, this did not augur well with customers who considered the design too generic leading to major losses at Pepsi. The company recorded a loss of about $130 million, forcing it to reverse back to the original Tropicana's packaging. Number 7. Radio Shack In what was to be the biggest brand overhaul for Radio Shack, the company decided to spend a whopping $200 million on a rebranding strategy. So they went ahead and changed their name from Radio Shack to The Shack. You definitely know what that means, right? I mean, being referred to as a shack in your line of business should be something just about any business might be striving for. The company went ahead to release several TV and digital ads with the tagline, our friends call us The Shack. All this was in a bid to make the company appear modern and project its image as the go-to store for any electronic enthusiast. But for whatever reason, the campaign failed terribly, even as it lost traction with new customers and alienated its loyal customer base. Number 6. Burger King Sometimes companies fail to understand why customers buy from them, and so they are swayed into wanting to grab any fashionable and selling proposition on the market at the time but that is just the wrong way to do it. Customers have one thing that first attracted them to a product, and that's what will always bring them back and make them loyal to a product. Now, one company that learned this lesson the hard way is Burger King. Ideally, just about anyone you ask will tell you the reason they eat at fast food chains is due to affordability and not necessarily the nutritional value of the products. I'm not sure if it was due to greed for more money or a desire to attract new customers, but Burger King just messed up with their brand. The company went ahead to initiate a lower calorie fry in a bid to make the chain look like a healthier option and outsmart lower calorie options from other brands. Well, this was perfectly thought out, but I think they failed to understand what their customers wanted. And so the lower calorie fry brand ended up as a total failure. Number five, HSBC. Before you embark on any branding or rebranding project, you have to do your research well 
lest you embarrass a whole company. One thing that any big company doesn't want is to bring shame to its brand or incur losses as a result of a failed branding mission. But that is exactly what happened to HSBC Bank a decade ago. In 2009, the bank launched the tagline, Assume Nothing. Sexy as it may sound, it turns out that the branding team didn't do enough research to understand the meaning of the tagline in other languages. And so after spending millions of dollars on the campaign, they later realized that assume nothing when translated to other languages means do nothing. I'm not sure any bank wants their customers to do nothing. Well, next time before they commit those million, maybe they'll have done thorough research. Number four, London's Olympics terrible logo. Any graphic designer will tell you that any logo concept that targets a global audience must be done in line with international standards. That includes a universally accepted language and visibility of the message you plan to share. But that's completely opposite of what was done by London. When the country won the bid to host the 2012 Olympics, it proceeded to design a logo for the Games. But what they ended up with was a total shame both to the county and the Olympics. In a bid to create a modern and unique logo, they ended up eliminating the traditional rings. I mean, how would someone tell this logo was advocating for the London Olympics 2012? Well, that's how $800,000 went down the drain. Number three, La Redoute. When you initiate a branding campaign, just about anything in your logo and photos or videos speak a lot about the brand. But that's probably what the branding team at La Redoute failed to recognize. La Redoute, which is France's largest mail order company, used a photo of happy children running on a beach shoulder to shoulder in their marketing campaign. They used the photo in their catalogs and on their website, but the background of the photo was where the main issue arose. It contained an image of a naked guy taking a casual stroll. Well, this is not what you'd expect of a big brand like this one. And sure enough, the branding failed terribly, even as no one picked the catalogs. Number two, KFC. Giveaways can be a pretty cool way for a company to attract and retain customers. But if this is not done right, you may end up with huge losses. KFC once found itself in this mucky situation. KFC's branding department set out to launch a free coupon to all viewers of The Oprah Winfrey Show, which was one of the most popular TV shows in the US at the time. The offer included a two-piece chicken meal, two individual sides, and a biscuit. After perfectly designing and releasing the campaign message, customers were required to download the coupon from Oprah's website. It seemed pretty easy to redeem the offer that about 10.5 million people downloaded the coupon, resulting in KFC having to give away over $42 million of free food. But the number kept increasing, and so KFC realized the losses they were making. They decided to end the campaign and apologize to Oprah and her fans. Number 1. Coke Many a time, we see companies trying to wish their customers well during festivities. And that is exactly what giant soft drink company Coca-Cola wanted to do in 2016 in preparation for the new year. But boy, do they do it right? Well, in what was to be a well-captured Happy New Year wish for its customers living in Russia, Coca-Cola went out to design a map of Russia, excluding Crimea, and posted the design on Twitter. This caused a lot of uproars in both Russia and Ukraine, especially considering the sensitive issue of Crimea. Ukrainians were not happy at all, so they went out to initiate a Twitter campaign against Coca-Cola with the trending hashtag BangCoca-Cola. This forced Coca-Cola to pull down the tweet and redesign another message, including Crimea. Coke further apologized to its customers for the design gone wrong, writing, Dear friends, thank you for your attention. It has been decided to delete the item which caused the upset. Such a terrible way to start a new year. So, that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.